Hello and welcome to the second in this Things to Get Right from the Start to AS Level Physics series. This time we're looking at powers of 10 and prefixes. Now when in physics we're dealing with very large or very small numbers, for example this is a very small number, this is about the diameter of an atom in metres 0 0.000000001. Better way of expressing that is to use what we might call standard form or using powers of 10, and I would say that was 1.0 times 10 to the power. And this is going to be a minus power of 10 because I'm taking that decimal point and I'm moving it to the right so that it replaces it just there. So I'd have to move it once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times one times 10 to the power minus 10 meters. Those two things are the same. If I want to write a very large number, for example, this number here, 93 million. If I say miles, that's the distance roughly from the Earth to the Sun. And I can express that in a similar way by saying, well, that's the same thing as 9.3 times 10 to the power. And this time the decimal starts here and I'm moving it to the left. And I have to move it once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven times in order to get to 9.3. And they mean the same thing as well. Now certain powers of 10 in physics have special names. Now normally those names are associated when the powers of 10 are um, go up or down in threes. But actually this one times 10 to the power minus 10, this has a special name as well. It's not one that you'll necessarily come across in your A-level studies, although you might do. Um, but it's often called angstroms because angstrom was defined as a convenient unit for measuring the size of atoms, simply because times 10 to the power minus 10 is about the size of an atom. But it's not an SI unit, so we don't use it that often. Examples of SI prefixes for um, quantities are as follows. If I have something that is 10 to the power 3, then you're probably aware that that is killer. For example, kilometre. And kilometre is how many metres? Well, it's 10 to the power 3. It's 1,000 metres. 10 to the power 3 is the same thing as 1,000. And then the next one is 10 to the power 6, which you probably know is mega. And then we have 10 to the power 9, which is giga. And then we have 10 to the power 12, which is tera. They're the main ones that you will come across. If we go the other way and we start to think about very small numbers, then again, we go up in, or go down this time, in threes. 10 to the power minus 3 is milli. And an example here, again, would be millimetre, for example. So how many millimetres are there in a metre? Well, there are a 1,000. 10 to the power minus 6 is called micro. And that has a funny symbol, micro. It uses the Greek letter mu for micro. And so we would say a micrometre was written like that, times 10 to the power minus 6 is what that means. Times 10 to the power minus 9 has a name you've probably heard of called nano, nanometers, and that's nm. Very useful for measuring wavelengths of visible light, nanometers. And then we have 10 to the power minus 12 as well, but one that is quite useful is 10 to the power minus 15. And the reason why, by the way, 10 to the power minus 12 is called pico, but 10 to the power minus 15 is one that you will use in your AS level studies. It's called femto, and femto is useful because times 10 to the power minus 15 is about the size of the nucleus within an atom. So that becomes quite useful. Pico you may use in AS A2 physics if you do capacitors and uh, measuring the size, but the other ones you will certainly come across. So those are the main prefixes that we use, and we use them in order to express scale easily, more easily. Thank you for watching. Look out for the next episode.